What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we're going to be doing another Vacuum Saved. This is Vacuum Saved episode 39, and yeah, this is a bit of a smaller episode than I was initially anticipating. I didn't realize that I actually have less vacuums, less new vacuums, I should clarify, than I initially thought. Although this does tempt me to do another video on the new vacuums that I've got, so if you want to see that, drop that in the comments. So, this is a good number of machines that I've gotten over the last year or so, but hadn't really featured. The newest one being another Phantom Cyclone XT. We have the DC-41 that I forgot to show in my Dyson video. We've got a toy Dyson that I just picked up recently. Two FNG Eurekas that were both thrift store finds that I forgot to show in the last vacuum saved. My Cebo G1 that I haven't shown in the vacuum saved yet. And my newest proper acquisition, this Hoover Elite Supreme, that I got from another local collector. So, starting off with the aforementioned Elite Supreme, this one is one that I actually acquired from a local collector. So, I actually ended up trading this for the White Orc Buster B that you saw in my last vacuum save, because the person wanted one, and he had one of these. He had this, and he had a red Eureka power line that I was wanting more, but the power line ended up selling, so I went ahead and got this, because, well, actually, I don't even know why I bought this. Um, oh, yeah, because it's an Elite, so it has the side-mounted tool caddy with the stretchos, which I don't have one of those yet. So I pretty much now have one of every proper Elite. I still want to get the actual Elite that I had as a kid, but having hard-bagged version is probably a little bit better because, you know, cats, because cats do sometimes like to tear up the soft bags on these. So, at least Boots does. Rika, Rika doesn't really do it, but Boots especially does. So, yeah, that's an Elite Supreme. Oh, speak of the devil. Hi, Boots. Hi, Boots. What you doing? Boots. Boot. 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 Who's a good baby? Baby. 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 No. Baby. Oh. Okay, so, as far as this thing goes, it appears that the motor was replaced in it, which would make sense, because that's what I was told happened. So, this machine does work. He said that he replaced the motor and the cable, I believe, since neither of those appear to match, but that's okay. It does have a full set of attachments, which is nice. And that auric I gave him had a full set of attachments, too, minus the little adapter. But has all that, all this stuff and things. I think he said the crevice tool was original, but the other attachments he grabbed off a different machine. I believe that's the case. Good shape too. I need to clean it a little bit, but it's not too bad. So yeah, that is that. Oh, I guess we'll look at the bottom of it as well. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. So yeah, classic loose Elite hood, classic Elite brush roller, and if we spin this around, we can see, oh, I don't know if, that, that doesn't seem right, hopefully that's not a problem. Model U5043-9. 30 so that's pretty good all right so we'll go ahead and give this a run there is also a bag in it it's not HEPA it's just a basic paper but it'll get the job done genuine Hoover I believe so in typical lead fashion this will be very loud which I'm not looking forward to 
That's the biggest thing that makes me not want to use these because these aren't too heavy. They clean really well, but filtration is god awful and the sound is god awful. So I do like these elites, but I haven't used one in quite a long time. And I, I only really ever use these when I do videos on them, which is why I'm trying to not go hog wild and hoard a million of them. But yeah. bit of a rough wind down but does the trick probably put that on high that was a bit too hard to push and of course this oh I forgot this isn't a stretch hose yeah I got fooled by that I could have I thought this was a stretch hose kind of disappointing so I still want an elite a proper elite this is a, the supreme apparently but I guess it's not supreme enough to include a stretch hose maybe this was replaced I kind of doubt it, because it fits perfectly. Maybe there was a version of this with the same tool rack without a stretch hose. Rick Hoover, maybe you can answer that. <laughs> Since you know everything about Hoover. Not sure. But then again, the stretch hoses on these weren't that great to begin with. So, But still, it would have been nice to have one of these kinds of stretch hoses. Not like, not like you'd be using one of these in modern times anyways. Well, I don't know, some people might. As is typical for direct air machine, the suction through the hose is piss poor at best, but, you know, it's an old school upright, so obviously the tool usability kind of takes a back seat to everything else, but that's okay, because it works great. So that is that, on to the next one. All right, so next machine is disappointing, to say the least. This is a Phantom Cyclone XT, and you might think, what's disappointing about a Phantom? You love Phantoms. Well, dis what's disappointing is the fact that I spent $150 on this, and it's freaking broken. Um, so I bought this off another collector under the impression that it was fully good nothing wrong with it because I was told that it you know runs good and all that stuff and it's clean and refurbished and it was none of those things in fact the motor does sound good in it I will give it that and that is the one thing that's wrong with my other Cyclone XT so I am contemplating just swapping the motors in the two and then selling this off to another collector but as is I mean Notice how it's not standing up on its own, and it just falls back. And uh, notice that this is loose. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. So, this is broken, and this is also broken. So that's not good. Which would have been fine, you know, I would have been fine, you know, if, if I was told those issues and I paid, you know, 60 bucks for it, give or take. You know, 60 bucks plus shipping, I would have been fine with that. But I paid double that plus shipping. Which is not fun. So, worst part about it is 
another collector was like, hey, I have a Mila that I just put a new belt on. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah, but I just spent the money. So I unknowingly passed up a Mila U1 for this thing, <laughs> which is not great. Although I will still be, I will be getting the Mila next month. Uh, so, oh yeah, and the cord is torn right there. I forgot to mention that. So, like I said, the motor is good, and one nice thing is it does actually have all the attachments. So, which my other Cyclone XD has all the attachments except the crevice tool. So now I have a crevice tool and a full extra set. So I, I have an entire set of attachments, which is good, but, you know, still not ideal. So this thing, this machine requires a new pedal release which I believe is just a whole base assembly, a new clean-out port, which I don't know if that's a replaceable part. I assume it is. There's probably some way, because it looks like the actual like tab is broken off here. So I wonder if I could get this part. Maybe I could just pop it back on here. Thankfully, it does still hold with this dial, so it's, it is kind of usable, but it does bleed some suction through here as a result, through, through this back channel. So yeah, but the good news is, is that the motor works and the Cyclone doesn't have any problems with it. Because those are the two things that had the issues on my other XT. So I'll probably swip, swap those over and then this, if I put the old motor in this, then this can be the XT that I kind of use and abuse and don't really have to worry about. Then the other one can be the one for the collection. So I might still keep this and, you know, try to get my money's worth out of it. But we'll see. So, good news is headlights do work and the brush roller is in good shape. Kind of. It's discolored, but it does, the bristles are good. So, I think this is, I have a feeling this is missing piece of high adjustment too, but that might not be true, because again, I do have another one. This is a 1999 Cyclone XT, I believe. So it's a very early one, yep, Cyclone XT. So yeah, thankfully it runs good. That's my biggest thing, is I'm happy that it, it sounds good. So, we'll go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, so because of that clean-out port, this makes a, that, that weird noise you heard when it's put away. And I forgot to mention that this thing smells horrible. Like, absolutely horrible. I don't know what the previous owner sucked up, but would not call that refurbished. Or clean. The thing was also covered in dust when I got it. Which, that's not a big deal. I can wipe that down, but, you know. Don't tell me it's been cleaned and refurbished if it hasn't been cleaned or refurbished and if it's literally broken in some areas. So, I'm not happy about that. But, on the bright side, it is... Oh, as I fall backwards, it is still an XT. And I still would have gotten it either way. So, it's not even like, oh, you know, they had to lie to get me to buy it. It's a, it's a phantom. I would have bought it no matter what. But, you know, a little bit of honesty and on the condition of it and a little bit of fair negotiation in response to it. And I would have been much happier with this purchase. So, yeah. But, you know, lesson learned. I guess the lesson is I should ask more questions about things before I buy them. But, you know, I generally expect that people will, you know, say if there's something wrong with something. But, oh well. So... Next, we'll go with the, I guess we'll go with the modern companion to the Cyclone XT, this Dyson, that I don't think I've done a video on yet, uh, in fact, I'm saying video on yet. I did do one on the 65, but I missed out on the 41, probably because they're the same color, so I can't tell the difference. Uh, but yeah, so 
This will be getting a review at some point, but I'll review the newer Dyson first, probably. Well, maybe not. I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. Of course, this is basically the same as the current Ball Animal 2, but just uh, slightly, slightly less suction and a significantly worse brush roller and clear head design. But that's not really a big deal because if you do have one of these 41s, you can always just buy the new cleaner head and pop it on. If they're, they're the same. They work the same. Not the 40. You can't do it with the 40, but if you have the 41, you can do that. And since getting this, I did have Dyson repair this because at the time I registered it on my account and they said it was under warranty. So they fixed the back hose, which actually this also I got from the same collector and the back hose. I know one of the problems I was told about, but... The back hose was split and it was haphazardly taped up. So Dyson, at the time, did fix it for me, thankfully. But they were upset about doing that, even though it said it was under warranty, because apparently I'm stupid and I should have known that, even though I'm the one who registered it, and I'm the one who got told a million times, no, no, it's under warranty. It doesn't matter how old it is. It's under warranty. <laughs> so, yeah. But I did get it fixed. They did fix that back hose. And I bought a new set of filters for it, and this button had failed, so I swapped it with the one from the 65. So I've done a good amount of work to it, but it does work. Um, the, the spine kind of flexes more than I like. I think the actual yoke is probably worn out. But other than that, it works. So yeah, we'll give it a run. I forget to mention that Dyson also replaced the back hose as well because apparently that needed replaced. It wasn't split or anything when I sent it in, but they replaced it, so not complaining there. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Honestly, these 41s, after using the 33 for, you know, a little bit to review it, these 41s really don't clean as bad as as badly as people say this cleans way better than the 33 i've heard people say that the 14s and 33s clean better than the 41 that's just that's just not true at least from my experience but uh because this thing cleans it's it's not great it doesn't clean very well like but it's not like you know i mean you could call it horrible you could definitely call it horrible it's not good per se it's the kind of deep cleaning where, you know, you would really only want to, you know, have a, like a medium pile carpet or lower to be confident that this thing's getting it clean. For something like this, it definitely is leaving stuff behind, um, you know. So it, this is the kind of machine where you run it and then you, you could run another machine like the SIBO, like these Eurekas, and it will get stuff 
that fist left behind. But when you compare this to the newer Dysons, like the UP13 that I have, in fact, you can still buy a Dyson that looks exactly like this today. They just re-released the multi-floor Origin for 300 bucks, which is not a bad deal. Um, they discontinued the multi-floor too for some reason because Dyson is their dicks for some reason and don't want me to be able to buy the lighter weight machine that's better for my back, I guess. But Because uh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to buy a multi-floor too and do a review on it, but I guess not. So anyways, that's the 41... I'm sure it's not that interesting, but I find it interesting because I like Dyson. So, I mean, that's cool. Just cleaning off my coffee table here with my Dyson V8. Obviously the toy variant. So, uh, this is apparently one of those little Kasdan toy Dysons. But it is missing the dirt container. So a lot of the stuff that gets sucked up ends up on this tape that I put here. So it kind of works. But hey, you know, for I think this was like $3. I can't complain. I got this at Goodwill. But yeah, it is missing the container. And as a result, some of this dust is getting in where the beads are. So yeah, that's that. Toy dice. Plug my phone in because it's dying. And this is a what appears to be a replaced plug. As the jacket is split right there and it's loose and wiggly and twisty. So not the safest thing in the world, and it's also a very short cord, so it's possible this was replaced, but um, or just had a bit of it chopped off, because this is an obscenely short cord. But um, yeah, so this Eureka F and G, this is from 1991 according to the sticker, and the issue with this is pretty self-explanatory. I cleaned up the brush roll and put it back together and it immediately chewed up and and chewed up the belt it actually the belt ended up getting caught in the fan and that made the thing just start completely tearing itself up basically and uh, smelling really bad so I opened it up fished out the belt cleaned up the fan popped the brush back in it is a replacement brush which you'll see in a sec and went on my merry way this was seven dollars so, let's see, ew, you can see where I vacuumed up some of the scent beads. It actually has a brush from my local vacuum shop that doesn't exist anymore. So a replacement brush as you can see, and it is, it, it is loose in the housing, just kind of move up and down a bit, so I'll have to find some way to fix that, let's see it moves, moves up and down, so if I put a new belt on it, it would just Oh, jeez. It would just kind of rattle anyways. But yeah, so this is the old belt, which is junk, obviously. I did buy a new belt, which is right there. So I have to put that on one of these days. You can see it has a bag in there of some kind. So that is that. And our little spring to hold the bag in place. Very classic. Very basic handle. It's got that kind of design where you can't really roll it on its back wheels very well. And uh, yeah. Turn this around. I'm trying not to unplug this. So I did find a belt for a dollar pack of belts actually so I have a belt for both that and this or for this because these belts love to wear out very quickly so we'll go ahead and run this <laughs> Thank you. 
Still has a really, still has a bad burning spell for some reason. There might be a piece stuck in there that I missed. Or maybe there's a piece on the other side of the fan that I missed. I don't know, but it's still burning, so... It's the first time I've run, I've ran it since I opened it up, so... Not good. But, a good machine. So there's that. So this one has a cord and a plug, which appears to be from what I think is a Recar. So this one has probably had its cable replaced, but this one's really cool. So this one was $9.99 at Goodwill. And it has a power switch on the front, which looks very DIY, but I don't know if that's exactly the case. So this one has a bag with stuff already in it, so this was a well-loved machine. It has the classic Vibra Groomer with the beater bars and the stiff bristles and the classic play in the housing. That's what the sticker looks like, if you can make anything out of that. So that's pretty interesting. Don't know anything about these. These two are the first FNG machines that I've ever owned. So this is all new to me. But this one I really like. This one works. I haven't done anything to this. I just plugged it in and ran it. So, yeah. It's a headlight. Now this one I like. This one I really like. It's smooth, it's quiet, it cleans well, it grooms well. You can feel it vibrating the carpet. This is a solid machine. Didn't blow out any dust when I turned it on, at least not any visible dust. So, and I haven't done anything to it. It still has its old bag in it, which obviously I'll replace with a HEPA bag one of these days. But until I fill that up, it'll be fine. So yeah, not complaining there. Definitely out of these two machines, this one's my favorite. Because I like the handle better, I like the finger, finger mounted power switch. I like the way it looks. It looks much fancier. Headlight doesn't work, but who cares. This one is a bit of work. But this one, pretty good, pretty good. So anyways, on to the Sabo. And finally, we have one of the nicest machines in my collection, the Sebo Essential G1. Now, this is uh, very nice. Bought this on eBay, very happy about that. But um, yeah, this particular machine has caused me a little bit of grief recently. Not necessarily its fault though, not even close, because my ex-roommate's dog who she still hasn't come and got yet, is, um, well, he managed to sneak his way upstairs in my vacuum room and decided to urinate all over this machine, which was not pleasant. So I had to completely strip the machine all the way down to the motor and clean everything out. And I'm, even though I had really good cleaner, I'm not really confident that it's perfect because... I don't really think of, I, don't, I can't really think of any way to 100% get rid of something like that. Hi, Rika. So, I'm, I don't know. That's just one of those things where, Rika. I thought she was going to jump up here. That's just one of those things where I'm just, I'm always going to be worried about that. And I'm always going to worry that it's going to cause a problem at some point. Oh, hi, Rika. Hi, baby. Oh, you can't, you can't lay on me, I'm doing a video. Oh. Okay. Well, so, this SIBO, hi. So, this SIBO is, basically, I completely pulled it apart, washed out all the pieces, and, uh, yeah, so, 
hopefully it's good now. And if you notice that the post motor filter is missing, well that's why, because it was soaked in urine, which is not pleasant. So obviously that had to be thrown away and I will have to order another filter, although for some reason I'm struggling to find one. Uh, not sure why that's so difficult to find. Sorry for the noise, my fiance is power washing me outside of the house because it needs it. So hopefully this thing won't smell like piss when I turn it on because it looked like I cleaned out all of the parts of it. But yeah, the bag in here is still good. I actually put a brand new bag not too long ago. And I haven't been using this as of late because of the lack of a brush roll shut off. I did finally get the SIBO attachment adapter though to allow me to use inch and a quarter attachments on this. So I might start using this again once I get that filter. Although chances are I'm probably going to end up buying a Felix not too, not too long from now anyways. So I might just end up getting that and using that instead since that's obviously would be better for my house because brush will shut off. So yeah. Still not sure why these haven't been introduced in the 21st century and given a brush roll shut off, but uh, I don't know. I'm not SIBO. So, and for those wondering, it was somehow, even though this was against the wall, the P was all over the back of this. So it was all over here, all over this attachment down, all over this, all over this little seam right here, and also right over. All over the front of this so there are a couple spots right there and a spot right here and that's how it got in the filter so it looks great now you can't tell that by looking at it thankfully uh, so hopefully when I turn this on it won't smell like piss that's the goal anyways so let's see <laughs> It gets that far underneath my couch. That's awesome. Yeah, because. Yeah. So I just realized I don't think I've used this since I got the new couches installed. Installed. <laughs> since I bought the new couches. Well, I guess they were technically installed. So yeah, that's kind of cool how the nozzle gets pretty far underneath these. So that's kind of nifty. So, and the DC-41 does get farther underneath here than the newer ones because the nozzle's a little bit shorter. But yeah. So, still smells just fine. Didn't, I don't see any, I don't notice any obvious problems. Obviously it has a brand new bag in it, so it doesn't smell dusty or anything, it just smells, smells like nothing. But yeah. Hi Rika. Aw, baby. Hi baby. Hi, baby. But yeah, so that's the SIBO G1. Oh. Okay, I'm a chair now. So, this was the SIBO Essential G1, and this has been Vacuum Saved, episode 39. Hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you enjoyed this selection of machines. And as a bonus, here's some phones. There's a Galaxy Note 3, there's a Galaxy Note 7, there's a Galaxy Note Fan Edition, there's a Galaxy Note 9, here's an LG G5, and here's a Google Pixel 3. Oh, that fell. So anyways, this is Inteltech Studios signing out with vacuum saved episode 39 and uh... yeah let me know what vacuums you'd like me to try to find to feature on the channel both new and used and i'll gladly comply whenever i can find them at a good price so again intel Deck studio signing out hope you all enjoy this video and hope you all have a good one peace <laughs>